morning you guys welcome back to my channel today is going to be back to just a normal vlog it has been over a week since i've picked up my camera like this and just vlogged because after the full week of eating are you laughing at me no i have a tiktok to oh after the full week of eating i just didn't want to record at all and then i did like sit down videos and because I knew those were posting, I didn't take the time to start vlogging. So we're back. I did a little video on Instagram, kind of of like where I've come from, like my journey with social media. And it just really motivated me to, which I have been motivated to get back into like vlogging more, but also with other aspects of my business, it's a little bit harder now. It's not just like, ooh, I wanna vlog all the time. And then, <laughs> because then the footage just sits on my camera or my computer, like I don't have the time to edit it. But YouTube is where my passion like originally started for fitness and all of this stuff. So anywho, I wanna try to get back into it. So I told Chris to help me hold myself accountable and just remember to record more because that's the thing. I'm just out of the habit of recording everything and until I get back into that habit, it's just gonna be like, I'm gonna have to force it a little bit, but that's okay. So I already worked out this morning. I didn't record my workout because I need to get a new memory card for my little camera and I haven't done that yet. It was just chest and triceps. Um, so it was basically bench press. Just double check to make sure that the Lulu outerwear haul got up, uh, like uploaded properly and it is. So I'm gonna go shower. I have a lunch meeting. It's really just to like hang out with a girl I actually used to work at Lulu with. She now has her own like staging business. Um, she'll stage houses to be sold. Like she is also an amazing thrifter. I, that is something that gives me anxiety. But actually, if you follow me on Instagram, she's the one who put together like the little mood board for back here. So anyway, I'm having lunch with her today. Very excited about that. And I need to do computer work. Chris is apparently gonna show me a funny TikTok. Come on, where'd you go? This camera is so heavy to just hold. I need to put you guys on a tripod. Yes. Does he win? Yeah, he wins. He wins, all right. Would you want me to do that? No. No? Is that rude? Yes. Okay. All right. Welcome to the video. I need to go clean myself up. And then we're gonna vlog. Also, I reviewed this Perfectly oversized cropped crew. I assume that's what it's called. I reviewed this on Instagram, but I got it after I posted the last Lulu video <laughs> like literally the day after or sorry I got done editing it and so I couldn't include it in there But the perfectly oversized crews are probably one of my favorites for just like Throwing on randomly going to and from the gym because it's not a fleece on the inside. It's like that Terry material. I don't know how well you guys can see Anyway, so it's, it's, it doesn't get gross when you sweat on it. So this is my outfit today. Um, these are Lux Dream Wonder Unders. I hardly ever wear them, but I knew we were running today. So I had a very like purpley mauve outfit. Muted mauve, is that a thing? I don't know. Okay, I'm about to head off to have lunch with Haley, but I wanted to show you guys, we got our love seat on Monday. It looks so good. These pillows are from Target and they only had two. This is also like such a small couch. I feel like you really only need two pillows, but anyway, loving the way it looks. Now we have to find little end tables. I wanna get one of the ones that like comes up and just like goes over the arm of the couch, like set your coffee on, whatever it is. We're still waiting on our chair from here and it hasn't even updated, so that's a little annoying. 
and we have to find artwork for this gigantic wall. So, slowly starting to come together, but super pumped. We finally have one of our sofas. The other one should be here soon. And I talked about these on my story, but I'm trying another candle company, and this one is actually local to Ohio. They're out of Bucyrus, so, so far I'm loving them. They spread really, really well throughout the house. This one is pumpkin pie, smells delicious. I have three other ones I'm excited to try, but so far so good. Um, yeah, now we're gonna head off to BB Bop for some lunch. New one? You're playing video games? I literally just got on lunch, like not even five minutes ago, so don't get Eating out again because we didn't go to the grocery store, but that's okay. We have to go tomorrow because no matter what, we need more Halloween candy. I had lunch with my friend Haley from Lulu when I used to work there. That went well. She has like a staging business. I think I was telling you guys about that. Very interesting. Totally different niche, obviously, than I'm in. And she's just getting started, so that was fun to talk to her. And then I came home, worked, spent a lot of time on Instagram today, which is normally not something I try to do during the day, but that's what I did today. And posted a swipe workout. We just got done at World Market and Best Buy. I got a new memory card for my other camera, which is so good because I needed that. And we got a matching blanket at World Market because, oops, because Target only had two of those pillows. This couch had nothing burnt orange. And look, it matches perfect. So anyway, we're gonna eat. We got Piata. I, oops. I just have my deluxe Caesar salad with chicken. Christopher has a nice pasta bowl. She loaded me up with pasta. Like, good <laughs> lord. Is that good? Alright, we're gonna eat and then watch Friends and then I'll probably see you guys either later for a snack or Girl, you should wear a name for a workout. Oh, 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 oh. Girl, you should wear a name tag. workout which was good I recorded most of it we did like a set of heavy neutral rows that I didn't show you guys and TRX rows but that was it all right the entire day has gone by um I had a lot of computer work today I posted that Lulu outerwear haul 
yesterday. It turns out like one of my favorite jackets, the Going Places jacket and a bunch of my other favorites like the Diamond Dye 25 inch Align pants, the Free to Be Wild, a bunch of Lulu items that I really like went on sale. So I was trying to post about those on Instagram for you guys to snag them while they were on sale. It was literally like 50% off. So it was great. But now it's the end of the day. Um, this is basically like all the candy we have for trick or treat tonight. They are doing trick or treat in our neighborhood. It's gonna be very interesting. We're just to gonna see. put a chair in the front porch. With the candy out there? Yeah. I mean, they're very anticlimactic, but I guess that's what we're doing. I mean, oh, sorry. And then I have these pumpkins, but it's like, do we keep these for ourselves? For you. Oh. Maybe. Just but we're gonna. I'm gonna go get some more candy. I guess I'll get like the sweet like the nerd candy i like weird it's not for you well it will be because yeah <laughs> anyways i have to go get candy and then we need groceries like bad we didn't go at all this week so despite not really wanting to i've just had like no energy and i guarantee it's the weather it's been so gloomy have you Chicken. been struggling this week yeah energy wise yeah We've both, well, I guess you've been getting up at like the same time. I've been sleeping in, which is like not me hey, at I've all. I've been getting up earlier, actually. I went and worked out twice this week. Each morning. Which is the most I've done in a week since the beginning of quarantine, probably. Yeah. Twice this week, I stayed up, or I didn't get up until like 8.30. I never do that. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to go head off to the store, get candy, get groceries. I'm not gonna make a list. I'll just get everything we normally get. But I need to drink more water because I've been like uber bloated. This is my first time wearing my uh, rain rubble jacket. What do you think? I like it a lot. It's really cute. Mm. <sighs> Chris told me I looked like the Grinch once, so now I'd, you know? I think everyone does. Obviously, our first year having trick or treaters, and it's cold and rainy. No, so we have a ton of candy now, and watch us have no trick or treaters. <laughs> <laughs> got the chocolates, the like candy candy, and then all the sour strips. All right, dinner is a little different than we normally have. They were out of our deluxe Caesar salad, or I guess it's not deluxe, just Caesar salad, whatever. And they had avocado Caesar, and it the dressing literally looks like thinned out like guacamole, but it's actually pretty good. So there's like little tortilla strips, some like dried out corn, it's actually pretty good. Lettuce, obviously, and then we made chicken. So, that's the dinner. Alright, 
morning it's Friday I let's see here it's 7 20 I have to go train my client from 8 to 9 head home get some computer work done and then go live for a workout for my fit and functional 4.0 people that will be nice that'll be fun I always love interacting with them and then the rest of the day, I'm going to work on my recertification. This is just something that is like honestly mind blowing to me. Um, I'm sure you follow me on Instagram. I've been putting together old footage to kind of like do a little like who I am, where I've where I've come from posts. And I posted a part one and a part two. Looking back on those was already crazy enough, and like they made me super emotional because it's been like four years since I started YouTube and it's just crazy like how much has changed how far I've come just like in my fitness journey how far Chris and I's relationship has come our just personal lives in general like it's just all crazy to me and it's super weird that I got certified almost two years ago like I have to go get recertified again which I have to look into it. I don't know if I have to take a test again because I've obviously done continued education courses. Like I'm in the middle of getting another certification. So I don't know if I have to like actually go take a test or if I can just submit my other things I've done. So anyway, I have to focus on that today, but I just got done working out. Fridays are always like a they're higher intensity in terms of like we're working with heavier weight, but we're not doing like any conditioning. So today was a lot of squats and deadlifts. Um, so we'll see if I have enough energy or am feeling good enough to work out tomorrow. I, no matter what, work out five days a week. If I feel fine, I'll throw in a sixth like full body circuit day, but we will just see because my lower back was still a little bit sore from Tuesday's workout. We had, I had so many deadlifts, <laughs> 12 sets of four heavy deadlifts. Um, and yeah, then we did deadlifts again today. So if my back is sore, I might not work out, but if I feel good, I would like to just do like a little 20 minute, 30 minute circuit. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm starting to get used to vlogging again and I was just telling Chris this. Looking back on all of those videos, this is probably like a very rambly vlog. I don't think rambly is a word, but I just made it one. Um, looking back at all my old videos and knowing I have 692 videos now is insane. And how I used to post every other day vlogs is beyond me. But once you do something enough, it just becomes routine. So I don't necessarily want to go back to posting that frequent because the reality is if you're create, if you're pumping out that much content, recording enough stuff to pump out that much content, you're not really enjoying life as much. And like once again, that's just kind of the reality of it. I feel like I'm pretty good at just kind of like recording little snippets to where it doesn't like take away the moment. It's just like I'm capturing it. So I just need to get back to that point because I really want to get back into YouTube and I say this as if I've been like away yet I've still been posting more frequently than a lot of people and I realize that but it's just so different from how I got started and it's just something like I want to slowly ease myself back into. So I'm starting to get more comfortable like 
recording or not comfortable like but remembering to pick up my camera and record because that's the problem I just get busy doing stuff and I'm like I have so many other videos where I've shown them this same thing like it just seems repetitive but once again there's so many people who are new and it's not repetitive to them so that's it for my Friday ramble <laughs> I'm overall feel, feeling very good. Glad I got my workout done. I'm gonna go train my client and then have a productive day. I'm to, all right, all right, all right. What'd you say? I was zoomed in. Oh. We're about to head off to Pottery Barn to pick up our longer dress. They're the long one and the tall one were supposed to be in at the same time. I don't know if they are. But my dad's bringing his covered trailer. If they do have the other one, we can take both. But, one, show you my outfit. Check out the fit. Yeah, because I think this is real cute. Um, this is definitely like not my size. It's, it's way too big, but I couldn't not get it at a local boutique, boutique because it was so cute. And our sales stuff just got here. You heard me talk about in like earlier in this video that Lulu put a bunch of stuff on sale. Uh, so I got another one of the Going Places jackets because mine is like three or four years old. But I also got Chris a few things. As you guys now know, he loves city sweat. And they had these on sale. I figured he'd like those for like lounging in. I got these wonder trains. Oh, you got two wonder trains. Well, I'm gonna be meaning to turn up it. I can't their final sale. Why don't you giveaway time? Giveaway time. Okay, I will. I'll, I'll give away. At the end of this video, stick around. I'll give away a pair of Wonder Trains. Oh, this is my jacket. So your Dry Sense shirt isn't here yet. But I got him a Dry Sense. It's like a softer version of the Swift or the Metal Vent. That's what the guys once are called. Right? That's how you would describe it. The no. Dry Sense shirt? No? No. It's it's thicker. It's, it's Sorry, more material. Sorry, I mean softer. I don't think it's softer. You don't think it's softer? It's like almost like fuzzy. No, I don't think so. Okay, whatever. I think it's, no, it's it's just thicker, it's heavier. I mean, maybe it's softer, but that's not the first, that's not the first uh, word I'd use to describe the difference. Anyway, I got him another dry scent shirt because they're great. He fell in love with them and then they stopped selling them and then they randomly came back. And it's kind of like a similar, similar like salmon-y color to those. But anyway, I'm gonna drink my smoothie. We're gonna go get our dresser. And then I'll see you guys tonight. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight up letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be my Okay, come on. Or I could be someone else. Lead the way. Lead the way. Show them. <laughs> okay, so. We got the long dresser, obviously matches our bed frame. Um, it's a little different. Also, <laughs> we're gonna have to touch this up. I set our 
um, new vacuum right there and it left this weird mark, which I think is so odd. But anyway, our other long dresser had like a big mirror. This one obviously doesn't have that, but we have a floor mirror right there. Um, so we have the matching like taller dresser. It'll probably come up to like here, I would say. Anyway, it's tall and skinny. That one's going to go over here. So slowly coming together and now we can actually put some of our clothes away, which will be so nice. <laughs> oh. oh, what was that? What a weird cat. of this video edited except for the last little part basically from the lulu unpacking unboxing whatever uh until just now so added this footage i'm gonna try to get this up this morning because why not it's not gonna make it up by eight because for some reason my videos take forever to export now but i hope you guys enjoyed your extra hour of sleep and um, I'm going to include a little like organization update in the next video because I know so many of you are interested in how I organize my workout clothes, my regular clothes, and now that we have one dresser, <laughs> I can kind of show you. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. To enter the giveaway to win the size 4 Wonder Train leggings, I will put a picture on the screen. I don't feel like getting them because this little grandma is laying with me right now um subscribe like the video and comment literally anything at all <laughs> but they are a size four wonder train so you have to be a size four at least if you want them for yourself but i opened mine i left the other ones unopened but they're very soft like they're even softer than the normal wonder trains because i think it's that like tie-dye material I don't know, they're super nice. So if you're a size four and a wonder train, subscribe, um, like this video, follow me on, well, no, no, we won't do Instagram because I know some of you don't have Instagram. So yeah, subscribe, like the video, comment anything down below, and I will choose the winner Monday night to give people a chance to watch this. So I hope you guys had a really good Halloween. Happy November 1st. I think Chris, uh, Seems like he wants to decorate for Christmas. He was like, so when are we putting up the tree? I'm like, do you want me to put up the tree? I'll put up the tree. In all honesty, I think we are gonna put it up soon though. Possibly today, because it's so scary looking outside. It's like super blustery and gloomy looking. Anyway, um, it's our first year in our house, obviously. And so I don't know how many decorations we need for this tree because it's way bigger than our last one. So I think we're gonna put it up and try to decorate it. And if I have to go get more ornaments, the other ones will still be in stock at Hobby Lobby and 50% off still. So I'm like super excited to decorate for Christmas because I love Christmas, but at the same time, I don't want to because it's overwhelming with how much space we have here and figuring out like where I want everything. So anyway, and if we do decorate, I'll vlog it. So I have it come December, but I love you guys. Uh, make sure to enter the giveaway if you want to. I'll choose the winner Monday night. Okay, bye.